Uh, today we're going to be looking at a video for a basically day one WordPress. Julia Crane, young adult author, we've uh, talked about her in a couple of her other uh, blog posts, and her designer converted her uh, website over to WordPress. Actually did a, a fantastic job, if you look at it right here, because her website was you know, absolutely beautiful before. She did a real good job keeping the uh, theme, the flow going across so there's not a whole lot of content here yet her she also did do a good job though of porting over the content from Julia's blog into this so now bravo well done on that one but now we're gonna look at basically a Julia Crane has a WordPress website and it's like hey now I've got WordPress what do I do so just real quick easy basics across like I said day one WordPress when you log into WordPress as the little, you know, WordPress admin administrator, this is the screen that's going to pop up. It's called the dashboard. So at a glance, you see right now, you know, how many posts, how many comments, this and that, how many spam as you start to grow and you get more traffic, this will increase. Ugh darn near exponentially it seems like we were looking for a post that I did yesterday I think in March we had 20 something spams and this month alone September it's the 18th as I say this it was it was thousands literally thousands so many thousands so <clears throat> but got a little home theme right here so some recent comments your recent little drafts down here we'll talk about that in a little bit a nice little thing you can do with WordPress one of the advantages the next thing right below here too updates this is outstanding right now I think she's only got like two plugins that are designer installed when she was porting the content over but as you get more plugins or as WordPress updates you'll see like a little two right here if you need two updates or three and literally updating is just click of the button you click this button to update all your plugins you click this button to update your WordPress and it's done so you don't have to worry about security this and that some of the other things back in the day you would constantly be having to go in and manually do updates it was a real pain with WordPress you have none of that and it, it really is a joy so right here this is one thing we're going to talk about right here you have pages and right here you have posts and we're going to talk about the difference in that so on Julia's site and then on our site too what we have here is every time that either Lizzie or myself wants to write an article we're doing a post it's a post and then it'll post to the main page what the different pages are are these tabs up here the about us that's a page the contact us that's a page so on Julia's the about there's a page the books there's a page so you won't have many pages because the pages are for the most part static there's some things you can do to add some dynamic content in there for categories or whatever we're not going to cover that today so after you know maybe you make a page for about me a page for a contact form we have a page for our mailing list but after you get those couple of pages made you're probably not going to make too many more pages you don't want your bar cluttered across different things so that's like I said you know when you were like hey you know I'm gonna type this up is it a new page no it's a post when you actually do a post come up here you can see the different posts and this is all content that she's ported over from uh, Julia's blog so if you know Julia wants to type up a new article like I said, when Lizzie wants to go put a new post on her page she just come to this screen click add new type it in and then right down here it's as simple as typing into Microsoft Word and you can actually you have the visual editor which is just like Word you have your little options up here or you can click to just HTML if you want to just kind of insert HTML code this and that this is usually what we end up doing is just the HTML screen you put the title up here and you can publish it once again we'll come back and cover the screen a little bit more pages right here to show you how simple it is you can see here she's got home about books blog contact I'm gonna assume she's gonna to want to page for mailing list if she doesn't she can delete it it's fine so we're gonna add a new page we're going to call it mailing list we'll leave it blank right now we'll publish it okay now if we come over to her page again and refresh it, she's got a new page on there called mailing list. And there it is. And you can mess around with the order of this and that some more fine. But that's how easy it is to add a new page. Now if she wanted to, you know, do a little form, whatever from the MailChimp, she could add it in right there. So the comment screen right here. 
Okay, that's fine. After you, uh, one thing she hasn't done yet is the uh, plugins for Askimet. Once she installs that, like I said, as she starts to get more and more, then she'll have a lot of spam. And so then what she'll do is just from the dashboard, you'll just click on the spam. It'll bring them all up. You just check this to check it all. Click empty spam. And even if she had 4,000 spams on there, it would empty them all at once. It really is that quick, the two clicks. So... So we've covered the pages, kind of what those are. We've covered the posts. Those are pretty obvious. The post automatically front posts to just the front page. You can't set it up to post to a different page. There are some things you can do. I've done it before, too, but like I said, we're not going to cover that today. One thing we're going to cover today is the uh, widget. And what the widgets basically are is that these little things over on the side, and hers looks different because her web designer did a really good job. It's a very custom theme. Ours is a little more standard on Gorilla Wordfair if you look at our site. Okay, so this up here, all the little Twitter, the Facebook, the RSS, that's a little text widget. This right here, the AdSense, that's a widget. This is another little widget. And what a widget usually is, is it can be just a little text box, and they've got little tools. But if you come here to Widgets, and you can see the different types of things you can do. You can add, so you can add a little thing off to the side there for links. You can add a little thing for different pages on your site. You can add one for categories. What a lot of people end up doing, <coughs> excuse me, is when you go to someplace else, like this off Amazon, this is one of their little widgets. And so you add in your covers, you do this and that, and then it gives you a little chunk of code. So you take that code and you need to copy and paste that code onto your site. So what you would do is you would come here to your site, you would click on appearance, you know. Here's your little theme. You can click on widgets or just straight down here in widgets if you wanted to. And so right now over here in the widgets, she's got coming soon, recently released, and then Julia would love to hear from you. Okay. Like I said, it looks quite a bit different than the normal ones because she's got a little more on here. On ours, it's more of just a straight down. This is what it looks like, and yours probably will too for right now, unless you started modifying the theme. But we want to add, say, a little link section right down in here. So we would come here and grab a little text one. We'll just do text. Could do it. Test. Click high. Click save. And obviously, you can put HTML in here. So if you're doing links, obviously, I would actually put the little HTML code for a link in here. But right now, if we come back and we refresh Julia's page. You see down there, the test and the high. There it is. It's that simple. If we had done it on mine, down here at the very bottom, there would have been something added on down there. So, you know, play around with that, but that's basically what a widget is. And then we decide, hey, you know what, I don't like this, so I just delete it, and it's gone. Like, I never did it at all. So that's a, uh, you know what, I'm going to wrap this up so this video doesn't get in extremely long, but we'll do another one here in just a minute. So, but that's kind of like a couple of quick overview of uh, different things for day one. Like I said, I'll end up doing a couple little movies right now, but uh, this was video one in day one WordPress.